So let's jump right into this. You there. You're the one they call Dragonborn. Get it seems I think so. Then it is too late. The lie has already taken root in the hearts of men. So we shall expose to them the falseness in their hearts by tearing out yours, deceiver. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. Time to die. And this is one that's good to just run. Do not heal. Oh! Oh, man. And they healed again. Dang it! Stop! Nerd healing! Wait, 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 did I do it? Wait! Oh, I did it! Oh, gosh, okay. Now to see <laughs> if I can find any of the other arrows that I shot. Oh, no, I don't want a clay deposit. No, no. Quit that, quit that. Okay. The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they might. You are the one who took the horn. Surprise. I guess I'm getting pretty good at my harmless innkeeper man. You're leaving something out. So, what's this part you're not telling me? Dragons aren't just coming back. Dragons aren't just They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead, killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. No, you don't want to go up there. A dragon, it's attacking. Where's this dragon? It flew over the town and landed on the old dragon burial mound. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. Hurry, it might be too late. Might be too late? If there's a dragon flying around Delphine, we're already too late. What? Come on, let's go. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot lately this episode. That's just, that's... Okay, that means kill them. Make this cinematic. Cinematic finish, though. Dang it! One bite, and I'm dead. Okay, I'm... Okay, I didn't I didn't get the cinematic. That's fine. Did it? Wait, something's happening. God's above. Yeah, I mean you you did know I you you suspected I was dragon born. This is what happens. See, Delphine. So you really are. Uh something. Uh something. Just had a little bit of dust float up my nose. No. Actually, there are a couple things I need to do here. First, I need to visit the Greybeards to learn the final word of the shout, Fusroda. Because I've forgotten to do this now for the past, I want to say, two episodes. Something like that. Ah, you've retrieved the horn of Jorgen Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn.
Oh, I think that was the end of that. Dover King, you have tasted the voice of the Greybeards, passed through unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you. Thank you, Master Arnkir. Board the vessel, Northern Maiden, docked at Ravenlock. Take it to Windhelm, then begin your search. Kill the false dragon known as Felix Otto before it reaches Sol's time. Return with word of your success, and Mirak shall be most pleased. Uh, well, there's Resod's no unbanded tax. Let's go ahead and read that as well. Oh, wow. There's a whole lot going on here. This is a mission I don't normally do, so this is fun. The roads have been unkind to this one, plagued by outlaws, along the route from White Run to Markarth. Guards travel with Rizad, yes, but they are ill-equipped to deal with one such as these. They wield strange, golden weapons and wear gleaming armor. Rizad has read of such things only in stories. Their encampment is found just west of North British in the pass. Each time they sit upon us, they shout, The saints would like to browse your wares today. The brutes steal mostly trinkets and oddities, no matter how cheap this one knows them to be. Then. They allow Rizad to go on his way. Rizad is not yet to fall back. While it has harmed this one's coin purse, it is not worth a life. Rizad has heard of another gang patrolling the roads further north, calling themselves the Sidwizers. They are known for their menacing dark armor. Skyrim grows more perilous by the day. They are known to camp along the road west of Fort Kastov. This one would pay handsomely to any who would help. Rizad fears for any who might come to harm at the hands of these worries and pests. Then there's a bounty letter. Bounty. By order of Layla Lockiver. To all able-bodied men and women of the Rift, the bandits located in Broken Helm Hollow have been harassing, robbing, and attacking citizens and visitors. A reward will be offered anyone who kills their leader. On your own. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. A note from someone named Calselmo in Markarth. Looks like that's it. Got to go. But there's just so much to do, and this is the nature of Skyrim. You just get so many quests. There's so much to do in this game. So let's go ahead and read the letter from Calselmo. Felix Otmar. It has come to my attention you may have recently acquired a certain dwarven bow of Arkin from White Run. I'm not sure how, sure how such an object came to find itself resting there, but I've been trying to obtain one for my research. If you still have it, or if not, find another one. I would be most appreciative if you bring it to me here in Marco. I will pay handsome. Sincerely, Calcella. Now, would I just give this bow up on a whim? No. No, I need to wait until I find an even better bow than that. Finally talking to Klimak here. Ah, good to see you again. How'd that delivery go? I delivered the supplies to High Rathgar. Quite a climb, wasn't it? Anyway, much appreciated. Here, take this for your troubles. Ah, thank you. Thanks again for the legwork. 